once they'll be looking at the app Stop Motion Studio. In this video, I'll show you everything you need to know to get started on your own films. So Stop Motion Studio is free on the App Store for Android and Apple devices. I really like it because it has a bunch of different functions from green screen to adding titles and credits. Now we'll be using the free version today, but it gives you everything you need to get started on your own stop motion. If you want to know how to use the extra functions like green screen and things like that, check out my other tutorials. So let's get started. Alright, so once you download the Stop Motion Studio app, we're going to go right into it and make sure it's the blue one. That is the free version. So once you're in, it'll bring you up to your stop motion down the past and a demo stop motion you see on the far right. So I'm going to start off by creating a new stop motion by clicking new movie. Okay, now you can see my set and click the top right icon, the camera icon, and now we can take photos. So as you can see, we can focus in by tapping the screen. I can take photos by clicking this red button. There we go. Now, let's say it was to make him walk. I want to drag this thing down the side. It's called onion skin. And that shows me where my last frame was relative to my current frame. So then I move his foot a little bit. Move his arm out. So swing his arms. Make him move forward a little bit. And then it can come to a resting position. As you can see, that allows him to take a full step. And the onion skin, I highly suggest using. I drag it around about halfway, just so I can compare it to my last frame. Now I'm gonna click the back here at the top right, and you can see my frames, and I could play it back. Now, let's say I want to change the speed. Bottom left, there's this gear icon. Click that, and change the frames per second by sliding it right here. There's also some different camera settings. The 4K and HQ are locked until you get the full version, but right now I'm just using the HD. I could also record right here. Testing, testing. So once you're done recording your audio, I'm just gonna click done at the top right. Now you can see the blue audio symbol, and that means that shows where the audio track starts. Testing, test, and you can hear my audio track. Now let's say I want to take it out. I tap the photo, click audio, and I could trim it or I can fade it. So if you want the audio to fade in, I could just drag this bar and it will fade in. Um, and then I could click done just to save those changes, or you can click delete as well. And that is how you use the audio function in Stop Motion Studio. I'm just going to click this plus icon. And you can see you can add images in. And that is if you were to take cameras with a different phone or just take them with your camera, you can import them in and play them as well. Titles and credits, that's also for the premium version. Audio as well. Um, although what I do is sometimes if they don't have the sound I want, I record the sound online I like look up a sound or something and I just record it so it can be in my film as you can see it just plays by clicking the play button at the bottom right I'm gonna click back and now you can see my other stop motion let's say I want to export this I just click select tap it then click that arrow at the top left and click export movie and as you can see, I can just save video right there and it will go to your camera roll. So those are the basics when using the free version. Um, like I said, the uh, credits, audio, things like that are in the full version. You can also green screen with the full version and I have tutorials on sound effects and green screening. If you do get the full version, I highly recommend it. It's $5 compared to other stop motion softwares. The price is a really good deal. Uh, so again, I'd highly recommend that and checking it out. But those are pretty much the basic functions you need. A uh, really easy app to use and just really easy layout. I love this app. I'd say it's my favorite app if you're using a phone or tablet just because of the interface. All right, now you know the basics of Stop Motion Studio. Feel free to ask questions in the comments or join my Discord below and ask them there. I'll see you guys later. Make sure to like and subscribe.